If you're handling a remote team and you're struggling to keep everyone on track, then you need to watch this video. Hi, I'm Shirley from the Clip Down channel. And for today's video, I'll be guiding you on how you can effectively manage your team remotely and improve communication and collaboration within ClickUp. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to actually choose what project management tool you're going to use. So you may already have an existing tool or you're looking around for one, but you may go ahead and consider ClickUp. Says it has a lot of features aside from task management. You can also have chat, docs, timeline, views, and even a dashboard. So with all of those things that all together improves your team collaboration and communication. Now, the second thing that I actually do when I onboard a new team member is that I have a kickoff call with them. So on this kickoff call, which I, by the way, make sure that it is part of their onboarding checklist. I have here a kickoff call task. I actually go through ClickUp with them and just ask them how familiar or comfortable they are using ClickUp and I ask them to walk me through on how they're using ClickUp so I know what exactly to advise them on. So I give them best practices and tips on how they can use ClickUp better. So basically, it's just a really getting to know you phase, but at the same time, it's also getting to know the project management tool. And the third thing is you can actually hire someone as a project manager or even a ClickUp champion. So this way, you'll have someone to manage your employees or your freelancers for you. So you can be delegating that over to someone else. And so if you have that project manager or a ClickUp champion, that can be the person that your employees can actually go to and ask questions for. So all you need to do is to train your project manager. Make sure that your procedures are documented or what we call standard operating procedures. So what are standard operating procedures? So basically these are just step-by-step -step guides on how to actually implement the tab. And how that would look like in ClickUp is that you can actually just go ahead and create a doc or a folder or a list for SOPs. So here you have, or we have an SOP template and it just outlines what's the purpose of this task and what are the steps and how to do it. You can include screenshots, you can include a video walkthrough and details on how they can go about it. And so the important thing is to have your depository of SOPs stored somewhere. So since you have ClickUp, you might as well use ClickUp Docs. So that way you can go ahead and just duplicate the stock or save it as a template. You can even connect it to tasks so that when somebody is performing that task, they can already see that SOP document linked to the actual task. Second to the last thing is to have regular meetings with your team. And so what happens during those meetings, we go through a meeting dashboard where we have here a chat widget. We can go ahead and discuss anything related to that meeting. We may have quick reference links with links to the meeting, the agenda, or even a way for them to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with you and below are the agenda so of course in each meeting you may ask what are your highs and lows and then you just have a quick report about the business highlights then discuss the roadblocks so you can go ahead and actually put tags into your tasks for example you can put to discuss tags so that when you have those tasks ready it will just appear here in the widget as tasks to be discussed. Another widget we can have here in our meeting dashboard are goals. So you can add here a goal section so that you'll go ahead and be on track of let's say your monthly goals or your quarterly or annual goals. And lastly, another thing that you can do is to create a team dashboard. So everyone can be updated on what's happening in the team you have here a team dashboard. So 
I have added here a who's behind widget. So if you go to add widget, just simply type in who's behind and you can see here a widget for showing who's behind on notifications and overdue tasks. So since I have that already set up, I'll be able to see here all the employees who are part of ClickUp or I can also filter that into just people that I want to see by changing the assignee. And then I will see here total unclear notifications. Then over to the right, you will see here the number of total overdue tasks. So with these two, you're already getting an idea of who needs to catch up and who's behind on the team that needs to be updated on their notifications. This won't be useful until you actually have a definition of how many notifications are too many, how many overdue tasks are too much. So if you have some sort of threshold, let's say you only should have 100 unclear notifications before we call you at, or you only have say 10 overdue tasks before we sit down with you and ask what the bottleneck is, this dashboard won't work. So you have to define for yourself and your team has to be aware of what is actually the limit. And then once they reach that limit, that you'll be sitting down one-on-one -on -one with them and discuss how you can help them. So other widgets you can add in here on your team dashboard are let's say important links to your SOPs so they know where to go. Like the action tasks, you can put a link to your meetings and holidays. Here we have an itemized list view of the overdue tasks. So you know exactly what those overdue tasks are and that's it just make sure that you are utilizing whatever tool you're using to be able to coordinate and collaborate with your team and the important thing is to have one source of truth so if you're using clipup to manage your team and manage your tasks make sure that you don't use other tools to talk about the task like slack or email so always refer them back to the task in ClickUp and then they can go ahead and leave a comment there and they can go ahead and update the actual status of the task there. So make sure that you always keep things in one place so there won't be any confusion at all as to who's going to do it and when it needs to be done. And that's it. I hope that helped you and your team on how you can manage your team effectively.